Hi guys, this is Karina from Mommy and Community's Adventures. I'm here to show you how I make salsa verde, which is red chili, red salsa, and it's so delicious. What you'll need are these New Mexico chili pods, as you can see right there, and then these here, these little ones here, and then an onion, and then cilantro and then tomatillos which is the green little tomatoes called tomatillos so you need all these things and of course a container to put it in once it's done but yeah this is what you'll need to make salsa colorado red chili and i love it it's so delicious with chips oh or carne asada anything even scrambled eggs you name it it's so delicious let me show you what the next step is. Okay, the next thing that you do, you put the little red chilies and then you put the big dry chilies and you let them um, roast, as you can see. Se están tostando <laughs> with the comal. And until they get like a darker, you see the huts getting like a little burnt and when they get a little hard and these as well if you're not used to doing it with your hands like that don't do it use one of these this is what i use <laughs> but i'm used to it so yeah i wish i had a molcajete that would come out even better but i don't i have a blender so you do that with these and then once they are ready you put them into the blender and i will show you in a minute these are taking a little longer because they're bigger of course and the small ones are in there so yeah Okay guys, these are the tomatillos. As you can see, they vary in size. See how tiny this was. This one is compared to this one. <laughs> see the difference? Make sure you take these little skins off and then you thoroughly wash these little green tomatoes, which are called tomatillos. And then what you do, you see this side, you put it this way first because it takes longer on this side than it does this side. Just put them down like this. There it goes, and as it uh, roasts on the comal, you just flip them over like that once they're brown, and I will show you later what I mean, until they're nicely crispy and brown and soft to the touch. Right now they're super hard. <laughs> okay guys, see how I cut these up? I chopped onions and I chopped the cilantro as fine as I can get it. You can see, oh God, it smells so good. So after I do that, I will add it in here. So when my salsa is ready, I'll just mix it together and it gives it a wonderful taste together. Now, if you don't like onions or cilantro or either one of them, you don't have to add that, but we do because we love it. Okay guys, as you can see how they're cooking on top, because that's the hardest part of the tomatillo. So now I just flip this over and let this side, and then also you just do it on the sides, something like that or this side like that as you can see what I'm talking about until they're soft and that's when it's ready to go into the blender and here are the thick dry chilies and then these little ones here try to grab <laughs> these little ones like they vary on what you want to add to yours you can add 10 you can add 12 it depends on how hot because these are the ones that are hot the little red dry chilies these are not hot at all it's just to give it the color and the flavor and all you do is add your salt to your taste and if you want you can add garlic if you like garlic salt or fresh garlic however you want this is how you want it you see how it's nice and crushed in there with the blender and then you add the tomatillos next okay guys they're ready to go inside the blender I do it by hand but like I said if you're not used to it you will get burned and then there's sometimes I do too because the little juices will come out when you're um, uh, taking them off the comal and they pop <laughs> so be very careful if you're not used to it don't do it do it with a spatula or a spoon or something or even a fork a fork will work you see how that little juice is coming out? That little juice is super, super hot. <laughs> so be careful, guys. 
So, see how it's in there. And then I put it here to blend it. And this is the way that it looks. You could leave it with a lot of chunks, big chunks, medium, or none. Just very little bit. But I like mine with a little bit of chunks in it. Let's see that. And here you go. All you do is mix the cilantro and the onions. Like I say, you don't have to add that if you don't like to. And then salt at your taste. I already added the salt. And then I will give it a try with a chip. I will be right back. Here it is guys, all done. Look at that guys. Oh my gosh, the smell is so delicious. Look at that guys. So, I will get my chip and I will try it with the chip. Here it goes, sorry for the crunch guys. Mmm. It is so, so delicious. Has a kick to it, but it's a good, delicious kick to it. So this is how you make Chile Colorado. This is red salsa. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I wish you would. Until the next time, guys. Bye. And remember, God is good. He is always good, my brothers and sisters. Bye.